Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. So in today's video, I checked out here two applications that can be helping you. Well, it helped me into workspaces, into making so much flow into my project management. So I think this application can be helping you. I'm not saying that one application is better than other one, but I think it's really worthy to check out and compare which one fits for you the best. So let's begin. Right, so the first thing that I did here into uh, this both application is to compare the prices of both of them. So what I did here into ClickUp is go into the settings section and locate the billing uh, part, which is right in here. And right into the Trello, I try to do the same thing. I click into my account and look for the billing section, which it's right in here. So. Uh, speaking about prices, as you can see, the workspace of Trello has a premium section free trial that is only uh, 14 days. If I go back into ClickUp, ClickUp has as well the trial mode of pro versions, but this one is up to 30 days. I mean, you can have uh, double days uh, speaking about we're comparing into from Trello and ClickUp. Now the monthly price in here appears is $5 and in here into ClickUp also appears as $5. But you might be seeing here that the price is billed annually. So if I choose this monthly, it's gonna be up to $6, I mean just $1. If I try to use the same thing into ClickUp, the price from $5 goes up to $9, which is also, it's like almost $10 before you jump scare about these prices first we need to understand what are we getting charged for so in here into the trailer premium section we have limited boards i'm going to choose compare plans to see what we actually do have into the standard section into the pro version we have everything that's right in here plus these options i mean unlimited boards advanced checklist custom fields unlimited storage up to 250 megabytes, a thousand workspaces, single boards, and saved searched. So I can learn more about the standard just in case I want to check it out. Uh, so it actually looks great speaking about the prices. And if I want to look for that into ClickUp as well, that here into the free version, once again, we have all of this plus unlimited storage, unlimited integrations, unlimited dashboards, guest permissions, teams, goals and portfolios. I'm not pretty sure if this is available into Trello. So if I look for that into the standard section, I think that part is missing. The form view, the research management and the actual reporting um, kind of looks good. And even we can try to make a deal here. So like how much are you willing to pay per month so let's say I want to pay $4 um, or $3 and I will be working just for myself. And after you put in here a price and you go and let's make a deal, maybe ClickUp can be helping you to just be a little bit more helpful speaking about prices and your budget and all that. Yes, Trello can be a little bit more cheaper than ClickUp, but ClickUp offers so much more things into these applications, into the platform which in my case, I think uh, if I had to choose uh, to use ClickUp or Trello, I think I would stick around a lot with ClickUp. But if I want to stick around with the Trello section because I don't have any money and I just want to work for myself, I think Trello can be really useful for me as well. Because Trello for free, if you want to work only by yourself, I mean, you have your boards, you have, I'm um, gonna use project management to, so you can see how it's gonna be looking. I have all these assets, I have all these things that are totally for free. And these things are quite easy to check it out. And actually it looks like if we are working into kind of Windows application or like Outlook, I'm pretty sure it works uh, like Outlook, but all of these things are really accessible. I mean, here's my Google Drive, I have Slack, I have workspace visibility, I have automations, power apps. What is this for? If you want to add different buttons or you want to add something more, you can add that. I have payment method actually, I have more templates, which is all of this really, um, really accessible. And if I go into the ClickUp, if I want to look for something more advanced, or if I don't like the way that I see 
my project and I want to choose another section for example that I want to see the same things but in different versions for example here the board section where I can just drag and drop all my stuff but as you can see it was a little bit hard for me to move things around because I just wanted to drop one thing into another section and all those things kind of like move by itself so it might feel a little dizzy you see it but that totally depends on what you're trying to look for so this is the part that it's really interesting for me i want to go first of all i'm going to first of all i'm going to try to do this with trello i'm going to go into create a very bold a first bold and i'm going to name this project number one and i'm going to hit into to do list i'm going to do laundry and basketball after i have these two cards let's say that i'm doing laundry I want to see how I can change my workspace because I want to add, let's say, a calendar section. I'm going to click into my option. I have my description and here I have a checklist if I want to choose that. In my case, I just want to add a, a specific date, but I don't see that in here. Here's a location. Here's a date, right? So I have to do this by tomorrow at 3.52. So I'm going to go into save. And it was really easy, right? So now I have here my stuff. Now I'm gonna try to do the same thing into ClickUp and see and see how much that took me. So once again, I'm gonna create a new space called project number one. I can choose different space colors. As you can see, this wasn't available into Trello. So I can choose an avatar. Let's say for example, I like this. I'm gonna stick around with the laptop. If I want this to be private or for everyone, I'm going to do this private. And here I can choose a template if I want to. In my case, I want to start from scratch as we just did into Trello. And I can enable click applications if I want to disable multiple assigners, custom fields, time tracker, time estimates. I want to select the date, which is really important for me. Go into next. Always required calendar, list, boards. Uh, let's say activity, table, and boxes. So once again, I have my to-do list. I'm going to tap in here. So now that I have these two assignments, what I want to do is to select my due date, which is actually really easy to find out in here. And my laundry, I should do this by tomorrow. My priority, I can add that in here if I want to. And if I want to change my list from list into board, I'm going to see something like this. I can add another status. So let's say doing, going to save, doing a very simple task, doing something really easy. Took me like less than one minute or 30 seconds to do that into Trello. But here into ClickUp, it took me almost a little bit more than a minute, almost two. I'm not pretty sure how. But as you can see, I have more custom fields. I have an assignment, I have my date. If you could remember, I can select what I wanted to see into my space section, something that I didn't choose into Trello. Into Trello, I just saw this board section, but I can see that as a map. I can see this as a timeline, or I can see this as a calendar, or I can see this as a dashboard. But in this section into ClickUp, you can choose what options you'd like to see all in here. So. This is like a little bit more to do some stuff manually and with more advanced tools. But into Trello, all these things were done automatically. There's just a few things that I need to do manually, for example, the date and the board. But everything was done easily. Obviously, if I create a template, everything will be done a little bit more easier. So into this comparison, I'm not saying which one it fits better. I'm saying that depending on what you're trying to do into these spaces, some might be more efficient than others. So specifically speaking about this kind of project where you want to work for yourself and do some simple tasks and, and track those tasks by yourself. I mean, Trello can do the things easily. And remember we are into the pro version. I think we've done a lot of things that we can do with a free version. And of course, by the way, I'm gonna leave you a link down below in the description so you can check out this Trello on both applications i mean ClickUp and trello sign up for these applications look around mess around be creative try to figure it out which one uh 
fits for you the best, work with both application when you want to make a different task, right? So hopefully this was a very useful video for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and well guys, I'll see you next time.